In this section we are going to talk about low noise amplifier, LNA, which is one of the most important blocks and we use it in both transmitter and receiver. What is LNA? A low noise amplifier is an electronic amplifier that amplifies a very low power signal without significantly degrading its signal to noise ratio. So imagine that we have a very low power signal and basically we can't do any process on it because the amplitude is small and first we want to amplify it in order to uh, process on it to get the data and everything so we need we need an amplifier basically but here uh, we have to amplify this signal in a way that we keep the signal to noise ratio constant we will talk about this in this section but don't worry we will talk about this signal to noise ratio and noise in upcoming seasons or let's say topics so you don't have to worry about this we'll just trying to explain this briefly now an amplifier increases the power of both and both the signal and no, uh, the noise present at its input so we because we have a noise from outside we uh, and also signal we amplify the signal but at the same time we amplify the noise and it's inevitable let's explain this in a very simple way so we have a transmitter TX and it sends the signal with a uh, really high amplitude but the problem is that when our signal uh, moves in the environment it gets weak because the, en the energy of our signal is absorbed by the environment so in the transmitter we always try to send the signal as you know as high as we can but we can't avoid the signal uh, attenuation because the energy is absorbed by environment when we receive the signal in the uh, receiver, we have to amplify the signal because it has a very low energy, it has a very low power. So, for now, imagine a simple system like that. So we have antenna, our antenna captured, uh, imagine that it's, uh, it's capturing our signal. Just ignore filtering and everything for now and imagine that our signal is directly connected to LNA, and, uh, sorry, antenna is directly connected to the LNA. I want to amplify our signal. So we have our signal and uh, we know that this signal has a low amplitude. So we want to amplify our signal. Yes, let's say we amplify our signal. Now we have a uh, high amplitude. But the problem is that our antenna captures the signal, it captures the noise from outside. And we can't do anything about it. Okay. So here again, the noise is amplified by LNA. We know that uh, because this, the both signals are amplified exactly uh, in the same way so let's say our SNR is a power of uh, you know signal to power of noise so if if this is before antenna and after LNA it will be amplified let's say it will be R times A times P uh, uh, the, the power of a signal but the same you know the, the noise is also amplified with the same gain, so A, P, N, okay? And we can say, yeah, again, our uh, signal-to-noise ratio is P, S over P, N. So we don't have any problem here. We don't care that our uh, noise is amplified because our signal is also amplified. So all we care here is to keep our SNR constant. But there is a problem here. That's the reason, that's the reason, though, so people can say then why we, why we use LNA, we can use a normal amplifier without paying attention to it, so, no. The problem is that the LNA has also uh, noise, why? Because LNA is an active device, amplifier is an active device, it has transistor, it has transistor inside it, it has a resistor maybe, and you know, everything, so transistor has a vo uh, has noise because these devices have noise and we, we we will actually explain the noise in the upcoming season don't worry about that but just imagine that all the pa passive if we have inductor maybe all this passive uh, you know components has noise so if we combine this the noise coming from the sources so our LNA also uh, has a noise and this we will see this noise in the output so now our SNR is something like that. Our PS, let's say APS, which is uh, you know amplified, and APN plus 
plus the extra noise, P noise, coming from, let's say, device, coming from our device. And this is the problem here. The problem is this noise. And v our goal here is to decrease this noise by uh, designing our LNA in a way that actually to have a low noise here. That's why we call low noise amplifier. When we say no low noise amplifier, it means that this extra noise is coming from amplifier should be minimized. So when we mi we can't eliminate this noise, this this noise can't be zero because we have noise all the time from coming from our devices, our components. So our goal in LNA design, as a summary, our goal in LNA design is to minimize the noise of our device. This noise is coming from our device. In so if we minimize this, we have we will have a high SNR. This is the whole, the main goal of designing LNA. Here I can show you an example of the, the LNA, as you see. So what we have actually in it, we have one input. And actually this input can be differential, positive or negative, or a single input. We have a power source, power which is uh, connected to our uh, no, uh, voltage source, VCC, and the output here. So it's like, imagine that it's a block that it has like three ports, in, out, and the power. And also like we can say a yeah, ground, because ground is everywhere, so it's like a four port. It's like a normal amplifier we have in analog design. So as you see here, this is small chip here is a module of our LNA and this is connected to this is our input. This is our output here. And if you see there is a VCC ground and this enable maybe is to to active. It's like a switch to activate and deactivate the LNA. It's not necessary all the time. So this is an example of BGU7224 VLAN LNA. So what we actually, what are the requirements for LNA design? What, what we need, what kind of things that, for example, when someone says that design us a LNA, what we need to take care of. The first one is low noise coming from the device. As we said, the noise like P and we said P noise from device should be minimized. And uh, so we have a better SNR. And also we have a better noise figure. We will be we will discuss this noise figure. If you don't know about noise figure, don't worry. We will explain noise figure in the details in upcoming season. Linearity, linearity and better IP3. Yeah, we want our system to be linear. We will also talk about linearity. Just keep this in your mind. Don't worry about linearity. We will explain it both simple and advanced level. Low power consumption, of, of course, uh, we said that our LNA has power source here, VCC and ground. And we always have a current which is coming from our source here. So we always try to make a low power uh, design. Actually, it's also, it depends uh, in our application. For example, for a handheld application like a phone, of course, we have a battery and we really care about the power. So we want to make a low power LNA that amplifies our uh, signal without consuming a very high power from our source. Low area consumption, of course, we want to have a small chip. That's, uh, you know, for everything. We always have to, uh, we also always want to have a small, uh, so it takes uh, less area. High gain, which means S21, we will talk about the scattering parameters later. So we we have we want our LNA have a, have a high gain of course, but sometimes we don't need. Okay, high gain and uh, yeah, the last thing is match to antenna or filter, the matching. So we want our LNA to match. So imagine for now we will talk about the match uh, matching in the upcoming t sections and don't you shouldn't be worried about that. So imagine that we have like two blocks here. In the beginning, it can be filter antenna. This LNA should be matched to both of it in order to have like maximum power transfer. So this, these are the things. These are the most important things that we have to be, we have to be careful about them when we design LNA, and we have to keep in our mind.
Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASAF would provide the RASAF radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.